I'm John Stott, live at Lone Farm, Chipping, farmed here all my life and my father before me. If you want a job, it's seven days a week. Up as five start, I usually look after the little lambs when they come off the mum, that's a, a job and a half. And then in the summer, I'm out feeding the sheep outside, working on the land, fencing, every mortal thing. Listen, Luke and learn. Those were the three L's that were brought up. Many a time that few moments of putting stock in a field and then just turning around and leaning on the gate and, and having a look. My father came over from uh, Yorkshire in 1939 and took a farm in the village. I remember the first tractor coming, so we were horses, heavy horses then. Seasons have changed. You cast your coat in end of April and you didn't look for it till November, but now you cast your coat yesterday and you're looking for it tomorrow. May is my favourite time. New colours, the trees are all coming out. The Americans like the fall. In the autumn, I don't like the fall because winter's around the corner. Very important thing is, is a dog on a sheep farm. It's up with me from half past five till I go to bed at night. Every time you open a gate to stop sheep getting through to gathering them, you, you know, you might have five to get in, you might have 500 sheep to get in, and you, you could not actually work these type of farms without a dog. They're with you all the time and they won't work for anybody else. Finest dog in the world, they have brains, you know. They have a lot of room between their ears. A farmer knows what he's looking for. The fleece needs to be quite dense. You wanted a fine staple of the wool, keep the rain out, keep the wind out. The wool in my father's days was quite valuable and the wool usually paid the rent. Now the wool doesn't pay for the chap to clip it, so it's now become a very secondary product. But as it happens, this wool has turned out to be quite good for the clothing industry. Because we never see an end product. You know, they say British wool goes into carpets and things like that. But to see those garments today was quite rewarding. I think it must be in the blood somewhere or another. It's not the best paid job in the world by far. But to be brought up in the countryside with the freedom, that's the way of life of farming really. Yeah, you can move on and do something else, yeah. But you'd miss it tremendously, as most farmers do. It's been your life, it's been your living, you've worked the land and you're quite proud of, of, of doing it. I can either work or not work. I could give over tomorrow, deep down if I really wanted. They'd think I'd died if that happened, <laughs> if I didn't turn up. <laughs> feel as though I have a, a job to do.